Hi, I'm Aida. I'm Julie. And uh, this is Coffee and Pole with Aida and Julie. The two of us. We are at our amazing studio, Pole Academy Sweden. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yes, that's it actually. <laughs> Julie, today's uh, topics are pretty interesting. Yeah, those who haven't started uh, pole dancing yet will probably know a bit more things about it. Uh, and those who have will have a great laugh. Yeah, I <laughs> imagine. With us, I guess. So let's start with the first one. We have a pretty fun little list here about five things to uh, think about when starting pole. Uh, so you've already decided you want to try it and uh, you are on your way to the studio or probably staying in, uh, at a class. Uh, what should you think about at that moment? So uh, you should uh, not think at all. I believe you <laughs> should just do. Don't do uh, too much thinking because too much thinking will destroy you both in class and before class. Uh, and when thinking about starting pole, don't think, just go. Um, keep an open mind. It's our first uh, first item on our list. Keep an open mind and have humor. And yes. uh, uh, in what way? Why should we keep an open mind? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you see? Turn off your head and you will be fine. <laughs> Don't do any thinking. Uh, but open mind, obviously, obviously, open mind um, keeps you from not having uh, any judgments and it keeps you from not overthinking stuff. You just come to the class and you receive the fantastic thing, things that are happening to you. <laughs> yes, basically don't think about what uh, might or might not happen. Don't uh, have any expectations. Just go with it. Uh, you've decided to try, so go and try. Don't uh, overthink uh, the event. Uh, go with the flow, I would say. And you will have to have humor because it will be harder than you thought and you will uh, feel so silly <laughs> doing stuff um, and that part never goes away, uh, mind you, because uh, even uh, if you train many years like, like we have, we still feel very silly because uh, each time we reach a new level or do new tricks, we look stupid. <laughs> You don't see that often on the Instagram videos and photos and everything, but we look pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> yes, uh, this is, uh, it's very often that I feel like a bag of sand <laughs> trying to... Or an octopus oh. trying to reach a pole with both legs and arms. And yeah, <laughs> trying to do some kind of art, <laughs> but instead uh, you look at it and you think, oh my god, uh, I, I I was possessed by <laughs> a demon. <laughs> yes, I was possessed by something uh, talentless <laughs> and hopeless. So you have, you have to have humor, you have to laugh at yourself and uh, you will have to let go when the class is finished and uh, the next time you go to class Again, open mind, humor, and uh, each class you will learn something new and you will develop new skills all the time and you will feel more and more comfortable with the pole, with yourself, with your fails, with everything. So open mind and humor, that's the first. Yes. Second one. And I have... Uh, Come as you are. Yes. What does uh, that mean? That means that uh, the thing that we talked about in the first episode uh, you don't have to have any skills, uh, any special preparation before coming to class. Uh, you don't have to do exercises at home, you don't have to go to a gym. 
you don't have to care about uh, what color clothes you're going to wear at what the class. What brand, what anything. Yes, uh, what uh, shape you're in right now, um, what uh, problems you think you have. <laughs> You don't have to think about your weight, if you have the right shoes, if you have anything, you just uh, grab a pair of socks, uh, sweatpants and you just come to class. Everything will make sense from that point. You just come as you are and uh, nobody's expecting anything from you at all, actually, especially when you're a beginner. Uh, number three, training once a week, Julie. Uh, yes, what we want to communicate here is uh, uh, when you come to pole class, to your first pole class, don't think that uh, training well, like once a week uh, is going to be enough to turn you into a pole ninja. Uh, you're gonna have to work hard to see any significant progress uh, and uh, as practice shows training once a week is uh, not enough for that uh, you're gonna it's good for maintaining what you already know and you can learn new basic tricks uh, but it's for maintaining what you already know and uh, keeping yourself uh, fairly fit that will make a good once a week thing, but you won't develop any new skills in just one one training a week. Yeah, it's a good place to start uh, to try to get used to it, but uh, I think uh, in a couple of weeks uh, you should think about uh, getting some more ways to train. And, uh, and that could be uh, if you don't have a chance of getting your own pole because uh, nobody, there's, uh, I imagine not many people have uh, space or possibilities or anything to get their own pole. You don't have to have your own pole. Usually if there's a studio nearby uh, in your area, use the, all the opportunities that the studio, that the studio have. Many people that like to train a lot um, talk to the studio manager or some something. They will, uh, I promise you, most of them will love setting up a program for you. Um, because as instructors, we actually love seeing very dedicated students and we go out of our way to help them yes. uh, develop. Definitely. Because um, most of the beginners drop out after doing level one because then it gets harder, it gets more painful, it gets trickier and you're really starting to doubt yourself and your skills and your strength because you reach a plateau where, uh, where everything gets harder and you start to think you can never develop past that. But sign up for as many classes as you can or get your own pole or both and also most of the studios but not all offer open poles open pole is where you go to the studio to train by yourself so it's not it's not a class led by instructors you go there and you train by yourself uh, a few studios like our studio we offer that for free for for active members yeah so that's that that is a perfect opportunity to uh, work on the material that you receive during classes. But uh, if you want to, uh, if you feel like you need to work on it some more to get more confident with it, to be able to use it uh, freely, like uh, not thinking about uh, uh, oh this hand is supposed to be there or maybe there like uh, if you want to put some moves uh, deep into your body uh, and feel more comfortable at classes uh, and probably develop quicker during the classes grab the material that you get uh, better uh, this is uh, a good way to go 
it is not the place where you try some tricks that you have never tried though. No, no, uh, YouTube is not an instructor. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube is very <laughs> good. There are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of very talented pole dancers on YouTube uh, to get inspiration from. But in YouTube, you can, you, you can really learn the very important adjustments of um, of the muscles and body parts and uh, the right techniques and everything and YouTube can't watch you and see if what you're doing is correct so YouTube is is not an instructor but it's a fantastic um, inspiration so on open pole don't take crazy tricks you're not even near to be ready for and uh, try to do that uh, please don't hurt yourself <laughs> Yes, we're all for safety. Uh, so open pole is a place where you train the material that you already know. And it's probably a good way to try to combine the things that you know uh, into something. Or if you're ready for it, to improvise uh, in dancing with the pole in a safe way, of course. Uh, but anyway, this is a good way to further develop uh, what you already have. Yeah, uh, which brings us to uh, the number five. Uh, you will fail. Yes. That's, that's, uh, that's just a fact. You will fail. <laughs> and you will fail so many times that you don't even care after a while. <laughs> Yes. And why? Why? Because you are trying to learn something new. Uh, imagine if we would all um, s stop trying when we try to walk uh, when we were tiny. <laughs> uh, imagine if every every baby ever <laughs> uh, said like, "I don't now. I'm sick of falling. I'll just no. I don't need to walk." <laughs> that's the, that's the same with Paul. Yes, exactly. You will fail, it's part of the pro process, uh, put up with it. <laughs> yeah, and then when you're not failing, you will succeed. <laughs> and that will happen. Just as much fact as you will fail, you will also succeed. Uh, but you won't succeed if you don't go past the failures and if you don't have humor. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. Yeah, hell I'm laughing at myself every day because I do the <laughs> weirdest things. <laughs> That's a good quality, it helps not only in pole classes but in any part of life. Also, when I'm not feeling like laughing, I'm feeling like crying. <laughs> <laughs> so we, there's a lot you don't see behind the, behind the pretty pictures and because of course, it's like that. When when I have worked on um, on a trick, and I have fallen down twelve times and worked on it for months and months, and then I finally succeed. I don't want to post all the fails. I want to I want to show that I actually, <laughs> damn it, I made it finally. And then I want to make it to look like, uh, yeah, I know this. <laughs> damn, I got this. <laughs> And then I can post my fails. Then, then yeah. fine. But I need That's to. It works. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's one thing about the open pole. The open pole that we talked about uh, off the tape. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, people. Some some beginners yeah. are afraid of getting to the open pole classes. Uh, not because, as the beginners, I guess. Uh, yeah, there yes. are people at any level who are afraid uh, of coming uh, to a non instructor lab training to do something by themselves in a group of people who could be unfamiliar or yeah. just students from different classes from different groups. You don't know what they, where their skill set are, and you think again that you look stupid not knowing what to do. Yeah, you think like you're going to come to open pole and try and do something and work on something and all the people around you are going to look at it and 
think like, oh my god, such <laughs> miserable attempts. Uh, this is one loser <laughs> next to me. I can't look at it. Why, why has she come here? What is she doing? She's hopeless. Uh, but this, actually, uh, the fact of the matter is nobody, uh, nobody even knows you're there. Nobody <laughs> has time for you. Nobody cares what you do. Nobody cares about you at all at Open Pole because they all want to make the most out of, uh, out of the Open Pole class for themselves. And they want to get uh, nice pictures, they want to nail that trick they're working on, they want to find that new combo of tricks they're working on. Nobody has time for you, so you're yeah. very safe to come to Open Pole. Yeah, just get over yourself. <laughs> yes. The world is not revolving around you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, about Open Pole, let's say someone just started pole and want to, you know, when you're when you're just fallen in love with pole and you, you never want to stop so you go to every open pole opportunity um, and then you stand there and think I don't know what to do so um, here is why we always tell our students to film themselves during class that's uh, because then you have material for you can watch yourself you can see you can adjust yourself and you can always get better uh, but also this material is perfect for open pole. It is. You already know what to do, and yeah, uh, most likely if you have uh, uh, filmed the successful uh, attempt of a trick or a spin or anything, uh, this is something you can work at the open pole. If you forget uh, the position of any body part or anything, uh, you can just open the video, look at it, and continue working at the open pole. Yeah. Yes, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. It's, it's really not harder or more complicated than that. So let's wrap up the five things. One, uh, open mind and humor. Two, come as you are. You don't need to have any special brand, special shoes, special shorts, anything. Come as you are. Three, uh, once a week training will not get you anywhere. Uh, that's good for maintaining your tricks and knowledge, but it will not develop you. Four, uh, use the open pole opportunities. If you don't have any op open pole opportunities at your studio, talk to the studio manager, set up a program for you, there's always something you can do. Um, and five, you will fail and you will have to be okay with that. Yes. Um, basically, you just have to keep a positive attitude to the whole process. And when you're not positive, go home and cry and try again the day after. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, and uh, also uh, the reminder, nobody cares about you at open pole, so you can only uh, care about yourself. Yeah, or at any pole class for that matter. Yes, exactly. That's good you mentioned that, because every pole class, everybody is uh, really busy trying to understand that grip or spin or yeah. something, nobody cares about you. <laughs> So yes, uh, don't uh, be scared of something that doesn't exist. Correct. And um, for uh, and the last one for our students or uh, someone who wants to come to train with us, we have upcoming uh, pole camps at the new studio here, and also our brand new uh, strip dance uh, workshop with Julie. So uh, go to our website, you can find the link. How do they say it? Down below. <laughs> or just go to Pole Academy, Pole Academy Sweden.com and you will find everything you need. And uh, that's it. Yes. Thank you for watching us. Uh, if you're watching this right now, that means you most likely uh, seen everything. You made it to the second episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so thank you for being with us and uh, taking interest in what we have to say to discuss here. 
In case you have any questions whatsoever you want us to uh, talk about and discuss here, uh, any questions you can think of, uh, poll and dance related somehow, uh, just uh, ask us any way you would like. Uh, write a comment, uh, write to an Instagram or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you like. Uh, we'll be happy to get the questions and we'll gladly discuss them in the upcoming episodes. At the next coffee and poll with Aida and Julia. Exactly. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye.